This is a Sim 3 worksheet for lesson 35 and I'll be covering it. What is the area of a tile with a width of 8 and length of 12? So all you have to do is multiply 8 times 12 because area is length times width. So and 8 times 12 is 96, so the answer is D. 12. What is the volume of a cube with the edge of 5 inches long? So we know that a cube is just a three-dimensional uh, figure of a shape, I mean of a, a square. And we know that square has all even sides, so that means all these edges right here will all be equal to 5 because all the edges are 5. So yeah, all you have to do is multiply length times width times height, and since all the edges are the same, it would just be 5 times 5 times 5, which equals 125. What is the surface area of a matchbox with the length of 3, width of 2, and height of 1? To find the surface area, you would have to use this formula here. You could just add up all the sides, but here the formula is easier. Here we have 2, parentheses, length times width, plus length times height, plus height times width. And if we just plug in our values, we have length, so the length is 3, so 3 times the width, which is 2, plus uh, length times height, so length is 3 times 1, plus height and, height and width, so then it's 2 times 1. So we know 3 times 2, that's 6, plus 3 times 1, that's 3, plus 2, so yeah, plus 2, because 2 times 1 is 2, 6 plus 3 plus 2, that's 11, but then you also have, you have to put in parentheses, and the outside is 2, so you have 2 times 11, which equals 22, so the answer is C. What is the surface area of a Rubik's Cube with the edge of 3 inches? So we have a Rubik's Cube, right? And it has a surface area of 3. We know, yeah, we were trying to find the surface area, but we know one of the edges is 3. But a fast way to do this, so we know that a cube has 6 sides. And we know that if we just find the area of one of the sides, so here, uh, since it's a cube, all edges are equal, so 3 times 3, that's 9. We found the area of one side, which so the area of one side is 9. And then we would, since there's 6 sides, we would just do 9 times 6, which equals 54. This answer is B. Let me just redraw this because it looks ugly. So there we go. Five. What is the area of a rectangle with the length of twelve and the width of seven? This is even. So this is pretty simple too. Length times width. So that's twelve times seven, which equals eighty-four, I believe. Now, okay. Six. What is the volume of an aquarium that is three feet long, one feet wide, and two feet high? And to find volume, you just multiply length times width times height. So 3 times 1 times 2. I'm sorry, I should draw this better. 3 times 1, that's 3. Times 2, that's 6. So the answer is A. Oh, sorry, I didn't bump this one. But yeah. Okay. Let's see. If you try doing 7 through 8 on your own and see how well you'll do, I'll mark the answer and you can just check your work. Okay, now let's get to factor the polynomial. Now, to factor this, so we have x squared minus 25. To factor it, we want to find, uh, so if we, first let's look at the sign. If, since it's a minus here, it's going to factor like this. So we, we would first look at whatever number is right here, which is 25. And we know that 25 is a perfect square, right? Yeah, perfect square. because 5 squared equals 25 and so that means our we write 5 here and since it's a minus it's going to be opposite signs so minus that's how you would factor it you want to find the perfect square write it here and if it's a minus then you write opposite signs and then you just write the variable same thing for here 2 uh, sorry, n squared minus 64, you have to find uh, what is 64 square rooted, which is 8, so we write 8 here. And since it's a minus, 
you write opposite signs, and then you write the variable. Um, let's try. I'll try doing number five. So it'll be. So you have some idea. So number five. Well, here we have a var we have a, a number in front of the variable, and we can just get rid of it. So you see here we have three, and just three going to forty eight. It does. So let's factor out a negative three. I'm sorry. Okay. So what's three divided by uh? Uh, so if we get rid of 3 here, it would just be m squared. If we get rid of, if you divide this by 3, that would be, I think, 16. Yeah, 16. And so that's positive 48 divided by negative 3, so that means it would be minus 16 n squared. Because we just factor out a negative 3. And now all we have to do is just factor this part. We know that 16 is a perfect square, which is 4. So... We would just do the same thing. Actually, I'm gonna use brackets so it's easier. The first one would be m. Since it's negative here, we would do opposite sign, so plus four. But since this also has a variable here too, we would write four n. So because if, and then you would just multiply it by m minus four n because it's a subtraction, so you have to do opposite signs. So yeah, this is how you do it. Uh, I'll write down the answers for 3, 4, and 5 here, so, sorry, 3, 4, and 6, so you can check your work. 